Saturday the 5th of September. Yesterday was the last day that I was on placement in Blackrock. We didn't start on Monday because Monday was bank holiday Monday so we only had four days there. So I don't have much videos of me actually in the hospital but I have videos of me like commuting mostly. I would wake up at like 5am so I can get the bus at 6am so I can be there by 8am. We'll sign in at the security and we'll go up to the changing room in the day theater um, and then we'll change there into our scrubs. We're not allowed to come in in our scrubs. We're not allowed to walk around outside of the hospitals in our scrubs. So we have to like change inside. We're all assigned different levels. Nobody was assigned level two because level two is the oncology ward and they don't want medical students walking around disturbing people. So we would go down to our level and we're supposed to like take history and like liaise with the nurse manager and the registrars or the SHOs or whatever, nurses, doctors, whoever were on the floor. We'd liaise with them and we'd ask them which patient is like suitable for us to take history from. Because some people are sick, some people don't consent to it, you know. So we have to ask first before we go in. And then we have a bunch of tutorials. We're supposed to have a bunch of tutorials. And then we go back to take history or whatever our schedule should say. Main thing about Blackrock Clinic is that one, we were only there for four days, so we didn't get enough time to kind of like figure out who was who and you know get to know the consultants and the doctors and that kind of stuff so that we could like you know ask to follow them around or that kind of stuff. It wasn't like a set thing where you'd wake, you'd come in the morning and then you'd go on a ward round or anything like that. There wasn't that kind of stuff. What we would do instead was we would take our like histories but we were very much like we didn't know what we were doing because the the professor who was supposed to give us our first tutorial wasn't available. He wasn't able to give us like a rundown of what you do when you go and take a history, which is not the same as like what they teach you in like college. It's different. It's like a different way of approaching it. So we weren't able to get someone to come in with us. The first few days was like really draining, not because we were doing a lot of stuff, but because we didn't have anything to do. Just going around asking if we could do this, asking for people to do this. There was this one registrar, the specialist registrar, who was so amazing and they were so chill and they gave us like amazing tutorials. He volunteered and we just all latched onto him and we we're just like, give us tutorials. And we'd wander around looking for a place to do a tutorial because we hadn't like booked a place. Um, but they were really, really good. Yeah, on Thursday, we went to the theater manager. We asked for their permission to be in the theater and we'd asked them to ask the consultant for their permission if we were allowed in the theater. So you need to get permission from the theater manager and you need to get permission from the consultant and you need to give as much time as possible. So if anyone's going to Black Rock and they, if if you're there for only like one, like a few days, which unfortunately we were, one of the first things you should do is go to the theater manager. Technically, we're not allowed. <laughs> Technically, we're not supposed to be in the theater. Like, we're told, okay, that's not our area to go to. Technically, we're only allowed to stay in our level. Technically, we're only, we're supposed to follow the schedule, And but, like, things happen, and you have blocks of time where you have nothing to do, especially in, like, Black Rock, where it's this private hospital. There are very few patients per, like, ward, so it's not, like, really, really busy. You need to, like, take as much advantage as you can with what you've got. And then when you're done with your day, go home. Don't sit, hang around waiting for stuff to happen. Don't hang around waiting for things to do. They will be nothing to do if you've already done stuff so yeah Thursday we went to the theater manager we asked her if we could sit in in theater and we asked her if she could ask the consultant as well and she we were really nice about it and she was really nice she was like yeah sure we'll go I'll go and ask consultant I was like no I can't take students whatever but then there was another consultant who was like yeah fine yeah sure they can come in and so we were able to come in and scrub in not scrub in we didn't scrub in we came in and observed from like a far distance a robotic hysterectomy and another robotic hysterectomy it was the da vinci robot and it was so cool the robot was like so elegant and it was all white and black and gray and it was just the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life and it was so interesting first case was like endometriosis and it was really really bad endometriosis and it was very difficult because of all the adhesions and all the damage that the endometriosis had done inside her abdomen it was so long but it was so interesting to watch so the one thing he said he said like if there's nothing that you learned from observing this the one thing that you should remember is how bad endometriosis can be and how damaging and how painful and and like I saw that very much so um the surgery was like almost three hours that we were just standing there watching and it took a long long time because of that and the other one was so they were like investigating if 
she might have cancer and they were taking like samples and stuff like that and they were doing the hysterectomy they were taking out the lymph nodes as well and the sentinel nodes it was so interesting to see we were able to go to Israel that we missed on Tuesday which was more like a ward round thing and it was so interesting and it was so good first we were, I was able to hear aortic stenosis and a murmur i would never heard a murmur in my life that's the first time I've heard a murmur and I was like oh so that is what a uh, systolic murmur is I didn't know that is what you know um aortic stenosis is it's so cool the one thing they said in the email was like if the only thing you learn is how to take a pulse then you've been successful and we learned how to take a pulse you can learn a lot from taking someone's pulse he said that taking a pulse is like shaking someone's hand it's like you're introducing yourself building a rapport by just taking someone's pulse so that was really good and I wished we had that tutorial on Tuesday because then we wouldn't have been faffling around as much but I think overall it was a very good week we didn't get to do a lot of stuff which is understandable because we only had four days we did a lot more stuff than I expected like we didn't get to do a lot of the usual things that you do but we got to like observe surgery and I learned a lot about EKGs it was mostly like cardio most of what we saw was like cardiac like not most of what we saw it was a lot of different things but most of what was pointed out to us was cardiac like do you know the way I say oh I want to do OBGYN but I don't know I haven't been on placement yet but this surgery makes want to do OBGYN. Having seen all the like cardio stuff, it's very interesting. Cardio is very interesting. It's hard, but it's interesting. Um, but I don't want to do it. But OBGYN, I was like, so excited. Like I was trying to hold back. I was trying to control my breathing. Understood the anatomy of that area more from watching this surgery and having the surgeon like explain this is this, this is that, this is this nerve, this is this artery, this is this vein. You see how this is different? The anatomy is the same for this person as, as usual but it would be different for everyone because of this or that kind of stuff. It was really good. Being in the hospital like you learn so much more. One thing I like about placements is that you're in very small groups. RCSI is a huge medical school like it's a small school but it has a very big like medical class when they say oh our sister has a small college or whatever it's not that's not what the experience is like you're very much in a huge classroom with loads of people and it's sometimes very intimidating take advantage of the fact that this is like a very small group there's only five of us and we were able to like ask questions so easily and be fun overall it was a good introduction to um placement so i i, I hope that was helpful for like anyone who's going to blackrock or if you were just interested in like the experience of doing placement or my experience um of doing placement if you liked the video just you know like like and subscribe and follow me. Bye. <laughs>